Yes, um, we have officially made it to one year of being in my apartment. I can just say that I'm just super grateful. I'm so thankful. I'm so happy that I was able to sustain a roof for me and my kids. I don't, I don't know if some people actually understand how much of a big deal this is. This is a very, very big deal because I was um, at one point very codependent on my spouse when I was married to the point to where I didn't really know how I was going to be able to go out in the real world and actually work a nine to five due to the fact that I haven't had, have, I didn't have the opportunity to really get out and work for like a few years. So my confidence when it came down to work and building a good resume was really shot down. It was shot down and it took a lot to revamp it and get it back up in the air. It took a lot. It took a lot of self-work. It took a lot of confidence within myself. Um, it took a lot of patience and understanding who I was, what I went through and how I couldn't hold the woman that I was hostage because my future self felt disappointed in her. So it took a lot of rebuilding mentally and emotionally before I can get there, before I can actually get there financially. And um, now that I am here, I'm, I just owe it all to God. I do. I, I really do. I'm not going to get on here and preach to you and, and tell you about thus said the Lord. I'm just going to get on here and tell you that if God did it for me, he can do it for you too and for anybody else that is out here and they aspire to live by themselves. And even though I'm on low income housing, I know that this is the first step to getting my next level vision my next level vision you know when god says linda you know your time in this apartment has been served then i'm gonna literally do what's next i told i talked to god and i told him wherever you want me to go i'm gonna go you lead the way i will follow humbly and i will follow abundantly you know what i'm saying with an abundant heart with an abundant mind with an abundant spirit because I'm going to know he's going to provide for me when I get there. And see, I feel like a lot of us, we don't put faith in ourselves to be able to carry ourselves through. And we put so much faith in God to where we are really not putting in no works. And I know y'all know, a lot of people already told y'all, faith without works is dead. So if you're not writing that vision down and making it plain, if you're not verbally speaking that into your life and over yourself, then you're doing your future self a discourage and you are just holding your past self accountable for everything that your future self is telling you that it can be done and will be done, but you have to do X, Y, and Z to get to that person and to get to that pinnacle in your life. So I really have taken time out to really learn about who I am, what I want out of life, and my desires and aspirations and it has been exhausting trying to title everything in masculine energy to um really get my kids to understand that i'm really doing this alone like i remind my son every day and it's about to make me emotional i remind my son every day like mama really doing this by herself i cannot call your dad for help Anything happened to me, I tell my son, and I don't do it to scam, I do it to let, let him know. I tell him, I told my son, oh, I'm getting emotional. I told my son last Thursday, because he was like, Mommy, let me take the trash out. I say, Baby, I got to do this right now, you know, because it was about to start raining. Usually, I do let him help me. I'm getting very emotional. I say, Baby, I'm all y'all got. Because he was scared because he was like, you know, what if something happened? Because he saw how the weather was getting bad. And I said, babe, if anything ever happened to me, you and your sister going to be straight. Y'all going to be living with y'all daddy. And I said, if anything ever happened or anything we got going on here, y'all going to live with him. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. I said, don't ever worry about what mama going to be because mama going to make a way. And I never said I'm going to make a way because I wouldn't be here. But I just told him, like, don't worry about me. I don't want you to worry about me. Let me figure all of this out and get everything done and go take this trash out before it start raining. So it got to that, you know, 
because my son do be concerned and um i do i tell my daughter like i'm not gonna always be you know by myself you know because she asked me um tuesday mommy you're you're lonely because she was watching a, a show and she just came and asked me that i was just sitting down on the edge of my bed for my lunch break and she was like mommy are you lonely and she just tilted her head to the side and that was enough to make me break down right <laughs> to make me break down again because <laughs> um i said yeah mama might be lonely but mama not alone i got you and your brother you know so it's been rough it has been so rough but i've been able to do it day after day day after day And I'm so emotional right now, but um, I just want to say that uh, by the grace of God, everything has came into fruition and it's still working out. And he's working a big one for me, for me and my kids, you know, for me and my kids. And I'm just so thankful for all the people last year who reached out and supported from my Amazon wish list. I genuinely do want to tell y'all again, I can't tell y'all how many times I've been you know, telling y'all thank you, but I'm genuinely going to say thank you again for helping me out to, you know, set the footwork in my apartment to have things that, you know, me and my children need to cook with, you know, to take a bath with as far as having towels and just having things that we needed um, to be able to maintain. So I'm just utterly, utterly thankful for y'all. Um, that's why I come on here and I feel y'all in because y'all have played such a huge role uh, in my growth, in my growth from my 20s and now to my 30s. So I definitely want to continue to take y'all on this journey of, you know, new heights and endeavors. So I'm just about to give y'all a quick tour. My apartment is looking like it's livable. It doesn't look uh, clean and pretty. I wanted to give y'all a quick look at my apartment this is coming from the front door i'm still gonna be protecting me and my kids privacy so i'm not gonna be showing y'all the bedroom but this is um our dining room table trash cans over there um snacks because they're big snackers uh this is one of my favorite favorite paintings called jump off and uh that's really near and dear to me if y'all have other questions about it you can ask my kitchen, I do have dishes in the sink because I just had a guest over and I had made breakfast for us. So I have to clean up in here, but that's my kitchen. Um, <laughs> just show you a book we're reading, Women with women Who Run With Wolves, that's what we're reading. Um, sofa, kids toys, my work areas, TV, stand, more books, TV, so yeah, this is pretty much it in there. That's where my washer and dryer at. Um, both of my kids have their own beds. I have my own bed. So that is what it'll be in the bedroom. But again, I will not be showing that. This is just one year of being here and what I have been able to accomplish for me and my kids. So well, I do want to say thank you so much for watching. If you have questions, comments, or concerns, drop that in the comment box below because I would love to talk to you. Again, I do work from home for inquiring minds. I do customer service tech from home. And that's about that. Uh, let's see. What else? I am going to be getting an upgrade with furniture and stuff, but that's going to just be something that will come along. I'm just blessed to have the necessities you know that we have at this point in time after one year um not sure if we're going to be here another few years but as long as we are here i will make it do what it do for me and my kids so we can be able to just live and live with peace and live with peace of mind so if you have questions comments or concerns let me know i will be able to try my hardest to respond if it's too personal i will let you know if i feel comfortable with asking your answering your question uh but outside of that yeah this is my apartment and i'm so happy about that and there's more videos to come so thank you for tuning in be sure to slap and smash that like button so i could be able to come back with more quality content and without any further ado thank you again for tuning in to life at the moment with linda lynn